Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and this is one that I am like ridiculously excited for. So this is a what I would call like the probably the ultimate ink sample haul. So this I purchased from eBay. The store name is the Pen Outpost. There is two periods within the name as you can see there. So definitely search the pen outpost just the way that it is with the periods on ebay and you'll be able to find the store that i purchased all of this from the customer service is absolutely phenomenal so fantastic customer service so i would definitely recommend them so let's tear into this and there should be 185 ink samples for the uh, little racks that the samples go into and also some empty sample size bottles as well so i apologize for the tripod kind of shaking there i don't think i had it all the way down so kind of have it up a little bit higher than normal because to get all of this in the view the invoice out of the way yes I would definitely definitely recommend this seller for sure as you can see it's packaged really well so I ordered 50 of the empty vials we see there and let's see if it says what size they are so it looks like they're five mil so they would actually hold more because the line is basically right here and so you still have that much space. So definitely holds a lot of ink. And then we've got our lids. So again, there's 50 of those. And he threw in some packing peanuts free of charge. So. All right. So I'll get these vial racks out of the way. So there should be four of the ink sample vial racks. So I guess we could just might as well just kind of tear that open real quick. Get this box out of the way and we'll just kind of see what these look like. And I'm sure they probably look like the ones that pretty much everybody else sells is my guess. But I'm not 100% sure. But they did package it very securely, which is great. It got here way faster than, than I would have expected. Got a notification that it was delivered today, and I could not believe it. Okay, so these are going, going to be basically the same as like what you see from the other sellers. So we've got the two end pieces, you've got a top and a bottom, and the center one, and one of them you can see has a smaller hole. So these are going to be just like the others. So I did get four of those because after all, I did order 185 of the ink samples, and plus I'm going to have others that I'll be getting as well, so... I'll probably need to order more of those because those are going to be pretty filled up already. All right, let me get this box back up here and we will see what we've got. Okay, so here is a pack with noodlers in it. So we've got X Feather. Park Red, um, let's see, Green Marine, 54th Mass, Red Black, Summer Tanager, General of the Armies, House Divided, and Apache Sunset. So all of these are supposed to have three mils or more in them. So. And to compare that against one of these empties. So the three mil mark is going to be 
about right there. It might be kind of hard to see. So I would imagine that these probably all have what he says they do in them. We'll just open up one of these real quick. Then we can see it a little bit better. So there's the three mil mark. And so it looks like all of them will have probably just a hair over because it goes up a little bit past that label. And that label, the bottom of the label is pretty much right at that three mil mark. So, and he's got, uh, he took the time to put these little stickers on every one of them. So we can see right there, that is Apache Sunset. You can already tell the color difference there. And every one of them is marked with what it is. Has an item number, says three mil, the dot pen dot outpost on eBay. And then he's also starting a website, which is www.thepenoutpost.com. That, uh, when you go to that, it says that it's not ready yet, but their eBay store is ready. And again, I highly recommend these guys. The customer service was absolutely awesome. I don't know that I've been that excited with an eBay seller in a long time. Just amazing customer service. So they will be getting more and more of my money. So those are some noodlers. Here's some more noodlers. We have Violet, Golden Brown, Anti Antitam or Antiatam. I'm not sure how you say it. We've got a Standard Yellow. We've got Standard Red. We've got Turquoise, Walnut, Burgundy, Dark Matter, and I think I may have already said Violet and Golden Brown. We have Ottoman Azure, Shaw's Rose, Dragon's Napalm, Bay State Blue, Standard Brown, it looks like. Beaver. Boy, there's one of those that I can't quite see what it says. We got Navajo Turquoise. And it looks like Standard Green. We've got Purple Wampum, looks like. Concord Grape. Navy, Cardinal Kestrel, looks like, Kinshin Hong Red, and I'm probably butchering some of these names. So we've also got Air Corp Blue Black. Let's see, something Martin. Purple Martin, Bernacki Blue, Cape Cod. Cranberry, it looks like. Can't quite spin it around enough. We have uh, Cigarro Wine. Standard Blue. Looks like that one's some shade of a purple. Black Swan and English Roses. Looks like Lexington Gray. Kiowa Pecan. Concord Bream. Something Royale. Le, Le Color Royale, maybe. An Army Green. And some of these I can't quite spin it enough to see, so I might miss some. But a, just a ton of colors. I may have to split this into two parts. We have Cayenne, Ottoman Rose, Widowmaker, Forest Green, Chivago, Blue Nose Bear, Bernacki Black, 
Bad Belted Kingfisher, and Bad Black Moccasin, Polar Brown, Polar Black, Red, Blue Black, and these are Platinum, so these are all the Platinum Standard colors. So these are going to be all of the different Platinum ones as far as all their standards, plus the two of the Noodlers, so we've got uh, like a Carbon black, rose red, blue, sepia, black, blue black, these are again more noodlers, so we have pushkin, The Senin, maybe? These might be their, like, their foreign ones, because it looks like it's got another language on it. Akmatova, Pasternak, Tolstoy, Like foreign names or foreign towns, I'm not 100% sure. So we've got Year of the Pig, Nikita, Blue Black, Tiananmen, Midnight Blue, Habanero, Heart of Darkness, which you I'm gonna try that one, Bernaki Red, Blue Ghost. Do I've been looking forward to that Blue Ghost? Got me a little light already. So these are the Kawekos, or Kaveco. So we have a Sunrise Orange, looks like. Pearl Black, Palm Green, Caramel Brown, Midnight Blue, Paradise Blue, Royal Blue, Summer Purple, and Looks like ruby red and then smoky gray. So more noodlers. So we got the polar purple, eternal polar blue, ill black, eternal polar green, eel grunge cactus, Something Rattler Red, Eel Rattler Red, I think, and then Eel Blue, Eel Turquoise, and Eel Cactus Fruit. Got more Noodlers. So, Nightshade, Bad Blue Heron, Rome Burning, Looks like probably bad green gator is my guess. I can only see the green gator. We've got brown, Q Eternity, Borealis Black, Black Swan, and Australian Roses. I think the other one was like English Roses, I think. Groon Cactus. Pilot. Okay, so these are the Aroshizukus. So we've got an Aroshizuku... And I'm not going to know all the names on these, but there's, I think there's supposed to be like 30 of these, I believe, or 25. Oh, looks like one of them leaked all over. So one of them leaked. And these are the Roshizukus. So sadly, one of those leaked. But let's see. So there's eight in each one. So, so far, that's not too bad if only one of them has leaked. So, I'm guessing it's one of those three. So, I'll have to, I'm going to set that one aside so I can get those cleaned up. We have, whoops, sorry about that. We have the J.R. Bond Anniversary inks. So, looks like we got seven anniversary inks. So here's Jerbon 10 of 30. There's 10 of 30 in this one. So 
So all of your, basically all, all of the, I believe the standard type J or Bond. So, and I'm going to be doing basically reviews on pretty much every ink. So there will be tons of videos coming up. We have the JR Bond Scented, so 2018 new. So those will be pretty neat. But I love that they're all individually labeled. They all have the little dots on them. So I think that's really cool. And I'm sure these little labels, like if I wanted to peel this off and like make something to set by the rack so that I know what brands are in what, I could definitely do that. And then we've got all the Namiki classic ones as well. So. so lots of inks. So a lot of these bags have 10 of them in it. So that is a ton of ink. So I'm really looking forward to all of these. Again, looks like only one of them leaked. So I will get those ones cleaned up and out of there first. Get these racks put together. Get all of these organized probably by brand and then color family. But awesome, awesome stuff here. So let's see if I can get just this in there without any other info on it so I can give you there. So it is the Pen Outpost. So v.pen.outpost on eBay. So there it is right there. I'll put it in the description box as well, but definitely check them out. So out of that whole box of 185 inks, looks like we had one green ink that spilled, and that is it. So pretty good odds, I think. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.